All right, so the last video that I had put out, people wanted to know about the strength and integrity of a dome, specifically in hurricanes, tornadoes, storms, and that type of thing. So today we're going to talk about why domes, and specifically ribbed domes, because that is what uh, I am building for people. Uh, why they can handle heavier loads and why they are more wind resistant uh, than conventional houses. So first, let's talk about the strength of them. Now, both geodesic and rib domes are stronger than a regular house. And here's why the rib domes can support uh, even heavier loads. So first, we'll talk about load distribution. Now, load distribution means how it uh, evens out everything that touches it. So like a regular dome, rib domes distribute stress evenly across the surface. However, the ribs, reinforced arches radiating from the center provide extra pathways for the load to be transferred efficiently to the ground. This additional reinforcement allows rib domes to handle heavier loads, and I mean much heavier loads. So uh, let's go a little further and talk about increased stru structural support. The ribs act as an internal beam that increases the dome strength without adding significant weight. They provide extra rigidity, reducing uh, deformation uh, under heavy loads and enhancing the overall stability of the structure. You see a normal house, things just sit on top of it without any extra support. Uh, redundancy. So the rib structure introduces redundancy, meaning that even if one part of the dome were to fail, the remaining ribs would share the load, preventing catastrophic catastrophic collapse. This feature significantly enhances the safety and durability of the building. So they're much, much stronger than a standard house because a standard house doesn't allow this. Now I'm going to talk about wind resistance. Rib domes are not only stronger under heavier loads, but also excel in wind resistance, and here's why. The first is just the shape. Uh, which is aerodynamic, uh, and it's a reinforcement. The smooth curved surface of a rib allows wind to flow around it efficiently. The added ribs do not dis disrupt the dynamic process or properties, but rather strengthen the structure, ensuring it can withstand higher wind pressures, even hurricanes. Uh, minimized uplift. Similar to regular domes, rib domes lack eaves or flat surfaces where wind could cause uplift. The ribs add to the surface integrity, further preventing wind from finding weak points underneath or around to exploit. Now, stabilized vortex shedding. Rib domes disrupt the formation of vortices even more efficiently than smooth domes. The rib help break up the airflow patterns, reducing the formation of low pressure zones that could exert fluctuating forces on the structure. This stabilization makes rib domes extremely, extremely resistant to high winds, even better than geodesic domes, because geodesic domes will create vortices around the edges of each triangle. In conclusion, rib domes contain, rather combine the inherent strengths of regular domes with additional structure supports to handle even heavier loads and resist wind better. These characteristics ensure not only enhanced safety and durability, but also demonstrate the advanced application of architectural and engineering principles. As I continue to innovate in building designs, rib domes stand out as an exemplary model for creating resilient and efficient structures for the future, which again is why I'm selling these particular styles of dome. Now also keep in mind that these styles handle the heavier load of the hemp easier. What I just told you is why they handle the heavier load, even better than a geodesic dome. You see, I looked long and hard, and most of the domes I was looking at were geodesic in nature. And each one of the geodesic providers came back to me and said, yes, we can make this happen, but we have to strengthen it and in supports. And that strengthening doubled the price of the dome. So what was a twenty to thirty thousand dollar investment for a kit became a fifty or so thousand dollar investment. And I'm selling my kits lower than that. So again, are they hurricane resistant? Yes. My domes, as they are created, uh, can withstand easily winds of about 136 mile per hour, 
which is a Cat 4 hurricane. Now with a little bit of reinforcement and strengthening, they can be reinforced and strengthened to a Cat 5 through just a few small places on the domes themselves. So it's very economical to strengthen and very easy to strengthen them. Tornadoes, same thing, the tornadoes go up and over, whereas a house, it smashes right into it, right? So domes, I don't have the load bearings for you right now. I'll tell you the load bearings of my domes later, or if you decide to buy one, all right? So this is why domes are stronger and more wind resistant than a standard house. I hope that makes sense. Peace out, guys.